When acquiring your images for a renal scan, you will start in longitudinal axis. Using your phased array probe or your curvilinear probe, place your probe with the indicator towards your patient's head in a coronal cross-section in the lower rib spaces. This is essentially the same position you use when obtaining the right and left upper quadrant views of your FAST exam. To look towards your kidney, you often have to tilt your probe posteriorly or aim it towards your patient's back. This is an example of a normal kidney in longitudinal axis. Notice the long cross-section of the kidney with the center hyperechoic region representing the renal pelvis. To obtain your image in short axis, you're going to rotate your probe 90 degrees to now have your indicator pointing towards the ceiling. This is what your kidney will look like in short axis. Notice that it'll have a more circular shape and your renal pelvis will be identified by the bright white hyperechoic region in the center. When performing a renal study, you also need to obtain a short and long axis view of your bladder. To obtain your bladder in short axis, place your phased array probe low on your patient's pelvis and aim towards their feet, indicator to your patient's right. This is an example of a short axis bladder. You often will be able to identify some pelvic organs like the prostate seen here. You then want to flip your probe to have your indicator towards your patient's head and identify the bladder in long axis. Here you can also identify the uterus posterior to it. You can also evaluate for ureteral obstruction. This is a short axis image of your bladder and notice these hyperechoic bubble-like structures coming into your bladder. That is actually the spray of urine from your ureteral jet into your bladder. If you recall, you have two jets, one on the right side and one on the left. This helps us evaluate for a ureteral obstruction. Often, it's difficult to identify the flow of urine as seen in this image. An easier way to do it would be to put color over the right and left ureteral jet and observe the region for color flow, which will occur when there is no ureteral obstruction. So I hope you liked this video. It was taken from our CME accredited Point of Care Ultrasound Essentials course. Absolutely make sure to check it out and to register for a free trial, which will give you access to selected lessons in the course. If you want to learn how Met Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Met Mastery video. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon.